Oh, which I think people should ponder <laughs> while they go and have their cup of tea. <laughs> Later. Go. On that note, we can tell you that Brian will be on tour <laughs> next February. OK, but if you can't wait until then for a dose of good old signs, we're now going to introduce you to uh, Michael Motskin and Praveen Paul. In you come. In you come, the pair of you. Let's have a little round of applause. Yeah. Yeah. So Michael and Pippin used to be researchers at Imperial College and you came up with this ingenious idea to bring science to the masses in a really different way. Uh, pubs, alcohol, science, <laughs> a pint of science, tell us about it. <laughs> yeah, so Pint of Science is an annual festival happening every year and the idea is to bring some of the most brilliant researchers in the UK uh, to local pubs to explain their research. And we have more than 500 events that um, basically give a lot of uh, opportunity to choose any type of science. Yeah. Mm. And do the people that are in the pub know that you're going to be there? Or do you kind of just <laughs> know <laughs> them with science? No, people do choose. So they have a look at their website and they choose what okay. kind of subject they want to go into. Because there's so much vast areas of research going on in the UK that you hardly know about. It's yeah. going on right under your nose. Yeah. Um, well, we thought it was brilliant because you were in a relaxed it's environment. So accessible, yeah. And yeah. you're bringing a subject to people that wouldn't necessarily, you know, get involved with it, you know. Exactly. Mm. Yeah, a lot of people think science is not for them or it's not part of their lives, but we want to show that it is part of everyday life, you know, yeah. from sort of technology to diseases, anything, really. And how in-depth do you go, Michael, with this? Um, well, it's, it really varies, depends on the speakers, but um, we try to pitch it in a level that everybody understands and uh, will be engaged with the science. And I think the environment of the pub is really perfect for that because mm. once people have a bit of uh, something to drink, they feel more confident to ask yes. silly questions to really yeah. engage with yeah, the science. Yeah. Yeah. Brian, is well, this something that you'd like to do? I would love to do it. And I loved your idea, actually, of just turning up unannounced. Yeah, why not? Well, guess what? Well, you are going to be turning up unannounced yes. somewhere right now because if you're up for it, there's a pub round the corner. Is there? Yeah. <laughs> Well, if you have a look on the screen, there's yeah. the stag's head. Lots of unsuspected drinkers at the moment. So they don't um, know. Well, they'll know there's a camera there. <laughs> <laughs> right. The there magic you of television, you've they, broken it. Yeah, they are ready. Um, well, we think they're ready anyway. So you, you pop yourself along You there. ready? Okay. Let's go, let's go. Um, we'll, we'll join you live. We'll get some one show cameras over there as well. Right, do you need me to bring anything back? I'm not coming. I don't think... What do you want? Do you want to get your order in now? Yeah, a large vodka. A large vodka? You have just surprised me. <laughs> with something. Anyway, we will be back at the stag uh, in just a few minutes to hear what Brian has to offer.